Good morning, fellow survivors. Today is day two of our Sons of the Forest Let's Play, and the more dawn is breaking, illuminated by the sun rising just above the hill. Now that's a beautiful sight. So, yesterday we actually established our base camp, put a couple of log sticks there, here and there, established our meat production. We are still short of a couple of turtles for the rainwater collection and a bit more serious tools. So before we go on to a more serious expedition, let me talk to my buddy Kelvin over here. Uh, what am I going to do? Get logs and please fill the holder. In the meantime, I'm going to do a short scouting if I manage to find the a couple of turtles. And if I manage to create a, one or two water collectors. And then we should be exploring the map a little bit because I do want to tool up. That's something that we got to do. However, <clears throat> and we should do while our food is still not very scarce and the morning is young. So that's the plan. We're going to go and take a stroll around this beach and hopefully find some turtles. Because from its shell you can actually create a rainwater collector. And that's the plan. Later on, we're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna do. We're, we're gonna be searching for an axe, which I know there. It's in the camp. That's not too far from here. It's still a decent walk, so <clears throat> I do want to get that one before I start, you know, putting more efforts into building my base. So that's kind of a um, let's say the theme that I want to be going on. And I'm actually just walking and collecting some small rocks because you need it for you need them for the arrowheads and all that jazz. So let's see, can we find any resemblance of usable turtles around here? Nope, that's a log. That's not a turtle. Okie doke. A couple of small stones and rocks obviously we're gonna be picking up, but I would really like if I could manage to get at least one to two turtles. They will also provide some meat and um, yeah, if you manage to get them there, I kind of... Oh, okay, here we have some turtles. Okay, I do apologize for the brutality, but, you know, sorry, guys. It's very graphic. But we really need it. Yeah, there we go. Another turtle. Sorry, buddy. I have to paint it red because, well, I need you. Yeah. Okay, good. I need as many rainwater collectors as I can. And there are more turtles. I'm actually not going to do a turtle on Massacre. I don't really feel like it. So after all, I'm not a bad guy. I just need to be able to survive him down here. So seagulls galore. And we're going to be hanging out some meat to dry. So that's good. This morning hunt has proven mighty useful. So that's kind of important for us. Right. Okay. That was a very early successful run. Let's hope that the rest of our day will be like it. Now my plan is, and it's a good plan, I've been working on it, yes, will be to go all the way to... There is an abandoned camp not too far from here, and then I'm planning to grab myself an axe. And I'm not talking about this tiny little hatchet, I'm talking about a proper modern axe. And that will help us build the entirety of our shelter. And who knows, maybe if we manage to find a, you know, a place to, you know, take a 3D printer or whatever, that would be just an additional, you know, icing on the cake. Clearly, our boy here hasn't got the gets for it because he has only collected two more logs. So that's obviously not too good. But let's do it like this. Uh, let's put these meat what we have on the hooks to dry. Because it will at least not rot. That's kind of important. And I'm actually thinking on going above and hatching down a couple of the the trees for him. Oh, the, he's felling the trees. Well, clearly he's not too successful at it. But um, yeah, let's just see. My minimap. Okay, there's another entertainment bunker over there that might be kind of important. And there is this camp that I had plans to visit. All right. 
yeah first let's chop a, a couple of trees have ourselves a breakfast and then we'll be going on on our merry way of adventure and exploration stick around this is gonna be fun uh yeah you know what buddy this is not really the proper way how to chop trees so let me show you there is a reason why i built a camp just below here is because now pay attention to this if i get to some of the more trees that are closer by what you can do is you can take those trees away chip away a little bit and then look downwards and then when you actually chop them off they're gonna be falling down towards your camp aha what do you say fellas and you'll be giving our friend kelvin a lot of things to work with so the idea is that we really don't need to bother with all that jazz. We just, you know, pick up the logs, the logs fall down, and then we just throw them down willy-nilly, and he'll be just collecting them downwards. See? That's how you do productively. He clearly doesn't have the first clue about the productivity. I mean, he has been in the army business, so, I mean, he is not aware of productivity. What am I talking about? Of course he doesn't know. Is about obedience and action and you know order and discipline and i admire him for it however when it comes to productivity you have to be an industrious player to no one so being the industrious git that i am and normally not good at combat i'm doing pretty well for the survival what can i tell you my survival isn't my order de jour so to say but you know it goes come on timber no what about now? Timber! Oh, look at that. That's fallen perfectly nicely. See? Now you have plenty of good work to do. Thank you. Right. Okay. I am thirsty. You don't say. I'm gonna go and drink some water from the stream then. Now, my point is to go to this upstream to this exclamation point and then continue towards the TV icon. Sorry for being too blunt of the pointers there, but I mean, that's the gist. Uh, and I am a bit hungry, so I might as well grab a morning snack. And I actually should be constructing the rainwater collectors while I'm at it, but first let's just have a sip of water over here. After all, it is a mountain stream, so the water should be clean, right? Come on. Give me some water. Well, technically it's not, I'm not going to take it three times because you can get sick of it. And um, for the reasons I don't understand, because this water room looks mighty clean to me. However, it doesn't matter. We're going to go there. And our boy Calvin has been really diligent in terms of collecting all the stuff that we are throwing at him. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do here, I'm going to light this candle. And I'm gonna cook one turtle meat for us to be able to hold on give me a stick so I can actually bring it over here there we go see stout the fire and actually no I don't have a turtle meat I'm gonna take turtle meat and then we're gonna be grilling it right so there you go while we are doing that, we might as well set up our rainwater collector. So, what was that? Um, spear rack, drying rack, shelf, arrow storage, weapon rack, stick path, rain catcher. That's the word. So, you sunshine will be located right about here, where I can actually... That's one. I could be doing two, you know, because two is better than one, clearly. So, might as well. After all, we're gonna have a pretty crowded place here. Oh, we don't have enough sticks. This is the reason why I actually told our friend Kelvin to pick up enough sticks so that, you know, we can build this thing. See? Nothing to it. Right. Hopefully our meat is cooked now, and it is perfect. So that means we're gonna consume it and have ourselves a nice little nibble over here. There we go. Look at our health pool go up. And... Water-wise, we are good. Right. I mean, that's pretty much taken care of. Uh, 
Kelvin, you're gonna do great things together, buddy, and I'm gonna be going just on a quick expedition, and I'm gonna be later. I'm gonna be home late. Don't wait up. Uh, tell you what, can I craft more arrows? How many arrows do I have per se? I do have some, so do I want to craft any more? Maybe. Uh, let's do this. One, two, one, two, and then one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's craft ourselves some more stone arrows. I mean, you never know when you're gonna use them, after all. It's kind of important. Good. Right. Okay. Now, Kelvin, I don't know. You wanna come with me, buddy? Tell you what. Follow me. Um, I love the fact that you are watching and paying attention to what I'm saying. That's really aces of you, buddy. Honestly. Uh, we're gonna be going, my thought is that we're gonna be going there upstream, and if we manage to find something, all the better, so... Oh, there's something here, probably a rodent or something. There are lots of squirrels in the woods here nowadays, and look at this beautiful nature. I mean, if there weren't these bodies hanging around, this would have been a perfect countryside road trip. Right. And I'm also gonna, while I'm walking, I don't mind me if I pick a rock or two. After all, you know, I'm a hoarder. I do these things from time to time. I'm gonna try avoid talking to the natives as much as possible because I'm not at all interested in their, you know, things, what they're doing, what the, their daily business. I really don't give a rat's ass. All I care about is getting crafted making sure that I have properly stocked myself with the provisions, supplies, and everything else they need. Oh, look, there are some muddies. Okie doke. Maybe I should probably go to the other side. And I'm probably feeling like I'm doing a mistake over here, but you never know. A word of advice normally they say keep off the roads and I'm trying to do exactly that. As long as I'm sticking my nose out of the roads we shouldn't be encountering the baddies. Says he and continues marching down the road like nothing has happened. Oh look. Okay. There's a monkey in the woods. Oh no no there's a camp. Okay that's not something that we're gonna do. We're gonna go further around. I'm not at all interested in uh, visiting any of these camps whatsoever. I mean, if I wanted to visit any of those camps, I would have preferred to do it, you know, with a Tommy gun or something like that. Hello, squirrel. Are you my today's breakfast? Yep, guess so. Okay, good to have a little bit of fresh meat on the bone, just in case, you know, we get hungry. Raw meat, collect it, don't mind if I do. Here, oh, look at this, we do have an excavator machine, you don't say. I mean, what do the baddies do with an excavator machine? Oh, and a golf cart. Holy moly. Some printer resin, a couple of small rocks, let, let, let's just... Uh, Take a second here and see, is there anything worth picking up here? Yeah, I'm guessing, I think I've seen this before, there should be an underground bunker somewhere over here. But the truth is, I'm not equipped for it. I don't have the digging tools to get into the bunker, so I guess I'll have to pass. Yeah, uh... The shopping cart is actually kind of nice to, you know, to chauffeur yourself around, but since I'm mostly keeping off the beaten track, it doesn't really help me now, does it? What I would like to do, I would like to go down this route and see if there's anything more that I could discover. Kelvin, are you coming with me, buddy? Okay, good, you are. Alright, so... We're going a little bit of uphill because I'm trying to get to this purple-ish marker. Okay, another rodent running away. Uh, ultimately, I don't care. 
as long as I manage to, you know, do, go my separate way. I could actually have a quick nibble here. After all, you know, keep my vitamins up. Alright, let us continue. Now, okay, that's a nice view over the lake below. And the stream downwards. Now, I'm trying to cross that stream someplace. Okay, there seems to be a camp. Okay, so let's go silent. Yeah, says he in a video game. Real smart. My survival joke. Real smart. Oh! No, I'm not gonna go here. I'm just... Never mind me. I'm just passing along. I don't give a rat's ass about you, and hopefully you don't give a rat's ass about me, because if you do, we have a problem. So let's... Let's our set go our separate ways and sing Kumbaya later. Do you mind? Okay, so we are getting close to this cliff. I think I've seen this cliff. And this is the place where our body is hanging out, you know, just having a good old time. If I'm not mistaken. So this is one of the places where typically if you would go north, you would go directly following the stream all the way up to the another helicopter fall site. And here, yep, some of the food, some of the, you know, liquor, a rope, and our hanging friend over here, which we're gonna cut loose a little bit, literally, quite. And then we're gonna go, oh, might as well. Nibble and grits, yeah, hydration is important. Now, oh, I haven't eaten those. Are they healthy? Apparently so, so I might as well collect a bunch of them. Hey, Kelvin, you have arrived. That's good. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go downwards and we're gonna see... Our Usually our friend over here tends to have a flashlight and by our friend I don't mean the, the monkey that's been going on around here that you have seen. I'm sorry, I'm referring to muddies and monkeys. That's really insensitive. Okay, our muddy friend. Let's call him like that, yeah. Okay, I mean, there is no encumbrance mechanic, so you might as well be picking up everything you see. Find team, one out of three. Okay, GPS locator, new crafting recipe available in the inventory, which is... Okay, repair tool, crafted club, crafted spear. I have a crafted spear and that's already enough. Right. Ominous music aside, our friend was hanging, you know, low-hanging fruit, so to say. And I'm gonna be trying... There is red smoke down, which usually means that's the camp that I'm looking for. Because in that camp, we should be finding ourselves a nice, full-size axe. And if I manage to get to that axe... Who is Jesus? Okay, uh, recovering from a potential heart attack I, I almost got. Um, this guy just, you know, literally jumped at me. Don't do that, because next time I might axe you. Whew. That guy really pulled a number on me, all right. Okay, now we're going down, and here is another abandoned camp. That one is full of goodies. Oh, yeah! Music! Let's dance! Oons, 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 oons. Another solar panel? All right. Tape, usually handy. Oh look, a guy's dancing! Yeah, let's dance! Oons, oons, oons. Okay, uh, tech player I prefer to take and keep. Okay, Calvin, you're good here, buddy. Let's see what do we have. First of all, we have zipline rope, which is perfect. I mean, uh, I cannot take any more batteries. What, the monkeys are sounding again? Okay, let's take this, for example. This is a prime example of the tool that you're used to dealing with the monkeys. Pufton didn't have any friends. I don't care about Pufton. Oh wait, I, maybe I should. I should. I'm, I'm here to pick him up. Nah, not really. I'm just here for shit and giggles. I, I, I placed a bet with a friend saying that I cannot... He said that I couldn't survive alone in the wilderness. Ha! <laughs> Boy, was he wrong. Right. Now, having said that, what do we have here? Another grenade and C4. We can no longer take C4s. We no longer can take cooking pots, but MREs we're gonna take. All right. Maybe I should have dumped my load somewhere else before, because that would have made actually sense. Now, let's see, uh, where are we now? There is an entertainment camp over there and an entertainment bunker. I'm really, from what I hear, 
there you should be having um okay yeah mm -mm -mm. right okay let's hotkey you x to be very close and look a little bit ominous and threatening and that's the point i fully intended to have it that way now i'm gonna try and hoof it up to the bunker uh, which would helpfully get us a water flask because we need to 3D print and we do need to 3D print one mask. Apparently, these shenanigans are really scared if you have a mask because then they think you are some some sort of godlike creature or something. I don't know what's the what's their kind of feeling, but um, yeah, they're superstitious, so might as well use it to our advantage. Don't mind if I do, you know. Right. Uh, okay, let's... I mean, I'd rather use the mask than the X, if you ask me, because X gets me into the, all kinds of trouble, especially with the baddies. So, now, okay, who... Ah, what are you? You're... Come on, you're panting like you have... Dude, you have been in the military. You're supposed to have, you know, like... The stamina of an ox. And you're apparently just going out like a regular little old chicken. Come on. I'm not buying that. Okay, here's the canyon of the river, so might as well be crossing here. We are getting closer to the entertainment bunker. I mean, I, I'm going for watching a movie, you know? I'm thinking, you know, some DVD with Salma Hayek or any other guy. I, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking around. Let's see, what else do we got? Oh, a rabbit! You don't say. Okay, hello breakfast. Yeah, no, uh, I'm bad at swinging the axe. However, I think we're getting closer to that bunker and that might be mighty helpful because if we get to that bunker, we would be able to, you know, craft ourselves some much needed survival gear, which I would really like because apparently that bunker has a 3D printer of some sort and I'm not sure. Yeah, you should run. Okay, now let's see. It should be somewhere around here. Okay, there's an overgrown cart, which should be one of the signposts. Which means you, Sunshine, should be right about somewhere here. Uh, where is the flashlight? So, flashlight I should equip. Alright. Let's see. Come on, stop mumbling. I mean, at this point, these fellas are just annoying. So, we do have a flashlight. Good. Here, we should be... Yeah, there we go. This is a bunker. All right, we are in the right place. <clears throat> so, maybe I won't need a flashlight after all here. It's a little bit moist. Okay, I cannot have wear more, you know, solar panels. Okay, that's not good. I should have really have left them. Okay, we can craft some arrows. What else? Flask. I'm doing the flask. That's a given. I mean, it's a really important... What? You're missing the resin. Oh, okay, I get it. Now. Care to continue, please? What else do we have? We have a couple of arrows. That's nice. Oh, some... Crossbow bolts. That sounds awesome. Water dripping on all sides. Wire. Okay, that's we're definitely gonna need because I think you do need wire if you want to craft anything using the solar panels. All right, let's pick up the flask. And from what I heard, I now I don't know. I should we should be doing the mask. So let's do this. Team LeBlanc, parallel universe in between. That's some light reading while waiting for, you know, world to go all to shit. Okay. Interestingly enough. Okay, the mask is getting printed nicely. Yes, thank you. Is there anything that additional that they would like? Grappling hooks, tech mesh, sled, GPS case, arrows. I'm Thinking tech mesh. I don't know what it is. Do I have enough? No, I don't have nearly enough resin for it. I don't need the mask yet, but I'm gonna actually put the mask on a hot key because if I need to intimidate somebody, okay, mask. Where's the mask? 
rope, grenades, GPS trackers, radio, mask. Okay, we're gonna put it on five. Right. All right. Let's go and explore what else we can cro or what else we can pick up here. There is a solar panel that I haven't used. I mean, it's a sad thing that I haven't, but after all, what can you do? Let's see if there's anything else in the bunker worth of doing anything. I think I can actually turn off the light source. After all, there is plenty of light to go around. What? You're kidding me. There's plenty of light and wire. Oh, thank you. I know, I know, GPS ain't working here. I don't care. This looks actually nice. I might as well, you know, take a nice... I hear some. Some money. We need a keycard to go upwards. But behind, behind these doors sounds like the mark monkey is giving a birth. I don't know what's the, what's the thing with that, but uh, apparently I don't need to know at the moment. Um, tell you what I'm gonna do. I think... Can I... How much can I can contribute? Do I have enough for... I have 150 milliliters and can I make anything of it? 1075, 50, 100. Another flask, perhaps? Flask I have grappling hooks. Do I have grappling hooks? I mean, I should have, right? Zipline rope and grappling hooks. I do have. No, that's the zipline rope. That's not grappling. Tell you what. You do some grappling hooks and then it's fine. I mean, it is kind of three o'clock, so we still have some time. However, it might be prudent that we go as quickly as we can. So let me just see quickly. Can I, I could add more tint. So I actually might as well be printing. What did I want? I wanted the tech mesh. I have no idea what that's being used for, but I might as well take it. So while that's being printed out, I might as well... Is there anything else that I forgot to take that I would be willing to take? Um, the solar cell? I cannot do that right now. Okay, I have no idea what the tech mesh is being used for, but we're gonna take it anyway. So, that being said, I think it's time that we hooftail it out of here. After all, it's not gonna be daylight forever and I would eventually like to get home before the dark if possible. So, let's go and let's get the hell out of here. I'd like to be back in my camp. After all, you know, I'm worried that Kelvin will be crying after me. You know, he's sensitive that way, so, you know, might as well get out of here. All right. I don't need the lamp, but I could use the GPS right about now. So, Kelvin, where are you? You somewhere here? Nope. Can I take the accumulator? Golf cart battery collected. Ooh! That might be handy, because if I take that, I could be using it together with solar pa cells and actually get ourselves a nice electricity light going on there. Yeah, that might be ca perfect. So, and clearly, I cannot carry it uh, anywhere else but in my main hand, so I'm gonna have to be very careful not to be met by the mutants, because if I may get met by the mutants, it's game over, baby. All right, so uh, we're going directly towards our base camp. And let us hope that we can cross anywhere here would be nice. Okay, we're not swimming. Good, good, good. Kelvin, follow suit, buddy. I mean, if we manage to get this, you know, battery somewhere, that would be just perfect. I hope it doesn't mind getting wet, but uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna go as much as I can. I know I'm carrying heavy load, but you know, battery, that might be a huge win for me. I've never had the battery this early in the, in the playthrough. I mean, I've played the game a little bit, not that much. So I'm actually really happy that, with the fact that I have the battery. 
And now without me yapping, just let's be really careful and hopefully not run into any monkeys, mutants or anything else of the sort. I'm gonna stay off the beaten path if I can muster it. And be really careful wherever I go. Okay, there is some tarp apparently here, but uh, I'm not at all interested in that. I just want to go get back home and yeah. That's all I want. It's four o'clock, so we will be coming home just before the sunset, I hope. But then I have to figure out how to set up the electricity. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. Oh no, that's just the birds. Whew. Okay. Rabbits. I don't care about birds or rabbits. I'm happy with as is. Just as long as we don't get the muddies or the mutants, or the cannibals, or anybody else for that matter. I just want to go my own way, leave me alone, and I will be really, really happy that we have electricity in our base. That would be a huge win. I mean, just imagine, guys, wire, bulb, electricity. We could have daylight, you know, all night long. And uh, I mean, the solar cells powering the battery. I really hope that it works that way. I've never set it up. This is my first time, so you'll forgive me if I'm a little bit, you know... Hello, buddy. I have no time. I would normally like to hunt you, because I could use the food, but I think I'm just gonna go, you know, walk softly and carry a big gun. Yeah, that works, too. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, dear. I would really like some venison now. I miss my protein, you know. Okay, uh, there is a crossroads, which could potentially spell out trouble. I hope not, though. I say stay off the beaten track. Maybe I should do just that. You know, just cross the roads here and be none the wiser. After all, the, the savages are not going to have the camp right in the middle of the woods, would they now? Ultimately, they would, if they are, they are somewhere in the clearing. So as long as I stick to the woods, for the most part, I should be safe. Alright, let's just see. I mean, I'm hoping that I'm making the right call. I have no idea, guys. I've played this game for, let's say, 2-3 hours before starting this playthrough. So, like I said, I'm a total noobish. I, I've played it a little bit when, you know, it came out as an early access title, but I don't know Jack. So I'm really, really hoping that this thick of the bush will actually help me not maintain the line of such to the muddies or anybody else. So, so far so good. I think we're really close to the base. So hopefully that should be fine. Okay, what is it here? Clear path. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just hope there are no muddies or anybody else here for that matter. We should be now fairly close to the base, so I'm just kind of hoping, you know. Hoping without hope. Okay, I don't like the looks of that or those hanging people. Because you ask them, how's the hanging? Yeah, nicely, beautiful. Everything is just dandy. Let's cross over here. Yeah, how's it hanging, fellas? That good, okay, good, good, good to know. Nice knowing you, bye! Oh, this is really some thick foliage right there. Okay, I think we're actually coming down to our beach site. Marvelous! Kelvin isn't exactly, you know, coming. He, it takes a while for him to get there. He is a little bit slow that way. But, yeah, look at that, guys. We managed. Woohoo! Alright, I would ideally like to make a shelf or something like that. So, yeah, hold on. How do I put this down? If I place this... Oh, I, ha I have the car battery on me the whole time. You gotta be kidding me. Golf cart battery. <laughs> I never knew. Okay, now let's see. What do we have? We, do we have... This is raw meat. Uh, in that case, what we're gonna do is... 
We're gonna be taking a branch and we're gonna be stouting the fire. So yeah, there we go. A little bit extra. Light it up. There we go. And let's see if we can get ourselves a little bit of meat on the bone. No, not the money. Raw meat. There we go. Nice and sizzling. Just the way I like it. Did it rain by any chance? No, it didn't. Okay, then I guess it's a little bit more... Oh, okay. Well, there we go. All in all, I would call this a pretty successful day, wouldn't you? I mean, ultimately, I don't mind if it's uh, sizzling or not. It, I just am happy to be home, you know. That's kind of important. So... Oh, there we go. Cooked meat collected. There we go. Give me, give me, give me some protein. I'm no longer hungry. What do you know? And we do have a water flasks, which I, which I did forget to fill in fully. So I might as well take that energy drink right about now. Yeah, I should be filling it up. Oh, I'm going to put it to zero because I feel like, you know, utility things. Let's, let's go drink one energy drink. It's going to give us a little bit of energy and everything and we'll be all happy and be singing Kumbaya till Kelvin shows up. Now, from the construction stuff, I really do need something or some sort of shelves or whatever where I could be planting a lot of my pokey pokey spring, silent alarm, explosive hunting shelter. Come on, give me something where I can be storing stuff. Small platform, stick chair, bench chair now we're into furniture okay i don't need those i do need shelf please firewood storage frying rack wall shelf shelf there we go i mean for the time being it will serve us well and i am planning to plant that where where can we plant that somewhere close i don't want it to be too far so how about uh, Nya? Yeah, okay, there we go. We need two half logs, two third quarter logs. I guess we're gonna do that, right? Okay, so let's see. There we go. There we go. And we're gonna be taking you and we're gonna be dumping you somewhere about here, right? Okay, now let's see, what can we be placing here? Obviously, we should be able to place play some ramen noodles. We're gonna keep one though. Let's go. Let's see what else can we put. We can put one or two tarps. Yeah. Uh, drinks, meds. I don't want to be. I want to have uh, all those on me. Berries. No. No other berries. Hand grenades. I want to have with me. How many do I have? I have two. I actually am gonna keep those. Uh, ropes, what do we have? Wires, batteries. We could actually put batteries, a couple, because wherever we go, we do collect some batteries. Feathers, pointed grappling hood. We have four ropes. Let's place two ropes then. Uh, light bulbs, vodka bottle, we take one. Slug ammo. I think we have like a lot of ammo, so I'm gonna be placing some of the ammo. Tech mesh, I have no idea what tech mesh is for. And MRE packs, we're gonna be placing two and some clamshells. Okay. Is there anything else that I could be placing? Let's see. Can I place a cooking pot? No, no backpack, no golf cart battery. Can I place that one over there? I can place the golf cart battery over there. That's interesting. Okay. Well, never mind then. Okay, guys, I think that actually wraps it up for this episode. As always, you know what to do. Like if you like the episode, say hit subscribe, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.